Yo, what's up? This is uh, Derek here with uh, TopSports.com, and today's uh, be live. We're gonna just talk about the uh, Southeastern Conference and the parity that's you know entered the, enter the uh, conference that has been dominated by Alabama for the last let's see six to eight years. You know, Alabama, LSU, pretty much has been, a, you know, the sexy picks, you know, to win national titles in the last couple of years. But, you know, um, it's been a while since I've been on here, you know, been out, you know, haven't talked about college football in a while. You know, last video I made on college football was about the uh, national championship game between the uh, well, not that. Well, yeah, between uh, Oregon and Ohio State, and the game between uh, Alabama and uh, Ohio, um, Ohio State in the semifinals, you know, got a lot of backlash, a lot of you know criticism from I guess Big Ten fans, fans for you know because Ohio State won, they sticking their chest out now, but it's all good, you know. Thanks for giving me the interview, but uh, you know. On to this uh, video. Um, Southeastern Conference is very is is a very competitive conference now. It's probably you know the SEC West had last year. The SEC West had about four teams that would could have played in the play could have participated in the playoff last year. You know Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Alabama, um, Mississippi State. You know, but you know it's you know. Out of all four of them, you know, Alabama, you know, was the last team standing, went to the playoffs and also Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl and semifinals. But, um, this conference is very competitive right now. You know, it's just too many good coaches are in it. You know, the no hard offense is, um, finally, you know, taking off in that conference. You know, you know, you're starting to see a lot of Oregon teams that uh, run a, a Oregon Ducks type of offense that are, Coming to the conference, teams such as uh, Mississippi State, you know, Ole Miss, Auburn, you know, they were up, you know, at all Texas A and M, you know, they all, you know, seem to run that same type of offense, you know, and and I guess you know Ole Miss, I guess, well, I mean, Texas A and M is pretty much you know set to establish the the blueprint on how to beat beat Alabama with these uh. You know, mobile quarterbacks, dual threat quarterbacks, no threat, you know, no huddle offense that uh, Nick Saban is uh, struggling with in the past. You know, we saw it in the uh, Sugar Bowl against Oklahoma. Then we saw it this year with um, Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl. And then we saw it in, uh, dealing with uh, Bo Wallace at the time at uh, Ole Miss in that uh, game they lost last year. But um, it's, it's, it's tough. You know, this conference is – very competitive, you know. Um, LSU, I, um, LSU and uh, LSU, um, Alabama won't be able to dominate like they used to. Now that doesn't mean one of these teams cannot represent the SEC in the playoffs, you know, because the playoffs has just made it so much better in regards to you know having two losses and playing the national title. We could see a one loss team in the national time. Who knows, man? You know, but I mean, they might even put a one loss Auburn team over an undefeated team. You know, last year, I know, Florida State you know, was barely got in because people were, a lot of people on the playoff committee were unimpressed by the way they were winning ball games were real close. But they got in eventually. And you know what happened after that. But yes, I mean, this conference is um, very competitive. You know, a lot of good teams. You know, I mean, the SEC, they wait till the SEC East gets um, back to relevancy with uh, Tennessee and uh, Florida. You know, that's two sleeping giants right there. That could be, that's going to be really good in the near future. You know, and Arkansas is going to be another good team in the SEC uh, East. You know, got Arby. I mean, it's just, talent from top to bottom of that conference. You know what I mean? You know, 
you could probably we could possibly see two teams in the SEC from the SEC playing in the playoffs one day. You never know. But I mean, you know, don't get me started on Georgia. You know, they choke every year with all that talent they have in that uh conference. They had a division, but they, you know, they play second field in Missouri right now. You know what I'm saying? Missouri is better than them right now. And, you know, this could, I mean, this could be a very, you know, I'm not saying that a team from the SEC cannot win a national title. I'm just saying that the road to winning a, a national title in the SEC is hard. It's going to be even harder. You know, no, I mean, it's going to be hard for a team to go undefeated, you know, because cause of the, the different type of all, the offenses, the the, um, the the coaches, you know, every these teams are getting good coaches now, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting, interesting to see how Alabama, you know, and LSU survive out there in, a, in that division. You know, Alabama has a big matchup against Wisconsin, what I think, you know, is not going to be a problem, you know what I'm saying? But then again... We still have them last year with uh Army and it was constant at uh, in the bowl game, you know, so it's gonna be interesting to see. It's gonna be a game a good game, I believe. But I think Alabama will win it. Um that's all I have for right now. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, tell me what you think about this uh this topic on on the SEC. Um you know, in the description video, the um, description uh, box below, check out uh, my site, uh, topsports.com. And that's all I have. Have a blessed day. I'm out.